Hey guys, Colin Rojas here with Rojas Woodworking. Today we're going to be going over part four in the CNC vacuum table DIY process. In my previous video, we talked about surfacing your grid material, whether that be phenolic, HDP, or MDF, after getting your material bolted down to your CNC bed. Today, we're going to be uh, carving the vacuum grid as well as putting in the vacuum holes for the, uh, PV the vacuum PVC piping coming up from underneath the table. This is what's going to create the vacuum to run throughout the vacuum grid. If you have not seen part one, I suggest you go take a look at it. It's got a lot of good information. Uh, in that video, I go over how to design your vacuum grid as well as your holes and everything that goes into designing your vacuum table on VCarve Pro. Um, so really quick, I just wanted to go over the bit that I used. This is a, a Mana. It's a flat bottom up cut quarter inch end mill bit. And it is a Mana 46577-K. So keep in mind, this is not my recommendation that you use this bit. Every machine is a little bit different. You can get a lot of similar results using many different types of end mills. Just keep in mind that the grid, excuse me, the grid gasket that we're gonna be using to seal each phase is square. So you wanna make sure that your end mill has a flat bottom which creates a nice square channel groove. Um, another bit that you could use, again, depending on what machine you have, this is another Amana bit. This is, however, it's a quarter inch shank but an eighth inch bit, and that is uh, Amana 46369K. Um, you know, either one will work. Uh, if your machine is capable of using the bigger bit, I would recommend using the bigger bit just because it will reduce uh, the, the time that your machine will spend cutting. Uh, with that being said, let's go out to the shop and take a look at it in action. 